Hello everyone and welcome back to Mr. Anderson's Algebra 1 Lessons. Today we're going to be talking about how to find the least common multiple of an algebraic expression. So we have two algebraic expressions here and uh, we're going to find the least common multiple. So we need to really harp on some things that we know. And uh, first we need to harp on uh, being able to find the prime factorization of your number and then really understanding what this exponent right here means on this variable. So we're going to talk about those two things while we do these. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the prime factorization of each of these uh, numbers here and uh, set it up so that I can find the least common multiple. And I like to kind of split my paper down the middle like this so that I can have some se two separate workspaces while I do this. And uh, first off the bat, I'm going to find the prime factorization of 24. And I'm going to start out with 6 times 4. Those two multiply together to give me 24. And I split up 6 into 3 times 2. These are two prime numbers. And 4 splits up into 2 times 2. So what that gives me right here is my prime factorization of the number 24. So I'm going to rewrite it here, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And now I need to bring down the variables. Now the variables, um, x has no exponents, so we can just say that it has 1 x. Now the y has a 3 um, as an exponent, and what that's saying is, how many times can is y multiplied by itself? And that's what the exponent represents. And in this case, it's 3. So to rewrite it as repeated multiplication, because that's what exponents are saying, we would write y times y times y. Okay? So this is the prime factorization of 24x to the first power times y to the third. Okay? Now, 40. I'm going to break that down into 4 times 10. That breaks down into 2 times 2. And this breaks down into 2 times 5. So I'm going to rewrite my um, prime factorization here. And I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Now on this side I have 2x's. So that means x times x. And I have 2y's y times y, okay? Now, what I teach my students is I teach them to look for the things they have in common because I've already done the work here to find the GCF, so I uh, kind of show them how to do the GCF and then add the LCM in a little bit later. So I'm going to circle the things that they have in common on each side so that I could potentially find the GCF if I wanted. And I notice that there's uh, three twos here that they have in common. Okay, and I'm using a different color. I'm using purple for this guy. And I notice they have an X in each of them. And they have uh, two Y's at least. Two, two. So now that I got the things in common um, squared away, to find the least common multiple, I look for the things they have different, that aren't in common. So in this case, I see that they do not share a 3 or a y on this side, and they do not share a 5 or an x on this side. So I uh, squared those with a red marker, and what that tells me is that I need to multiply, on this side, I need to take the 3 times the y, and I need to multiply it to this whole expression up here, 40x squared, y squared. So I do this right here and bring it up to the top. So that would be multiplied over there, and I could find the least common multiple. Okay, and I'll go ahead and do that now. So I see that I need to um, take uh, 3 times 40 or 3 times y times 40 times x squared times y 
squared. And you could rewrite it a couple different ways. You could rewrite it as 3 times 40 times um, x times x times y times y times y. So you got the whole prime factorization out. And uh, that's probably the easiest to see the thing I want to show you in a moment. Okay, so 3 times 40 is uh, 120. So I have 120. Then I have two x's, so that's x squared, and three y's, y cubed, okay? Now on this side, I would need to take um, five times x and multiply it over to the top. So I need to take this guy and this guy and multiply it over here times this number. So I have the LCM over here, and I would write, um, I would write, 5 times x times 24 times x times y cubed. And if I wanted to rewrite it out in prime factorization, I would put 5 times 24 times x times x times y times y times y. Now I want you to take a look at something right here. I want you to take a look at what you see right here. They both have two x's and they both have three y's. And that's kind of important to note because when you um, see that they have the same uh, variable expressions, that will give you a hint that you're on the right track for your um, prime factorization. So if I multiply 5 times 24, I will get 120. I have x times x, which is x squared, and I have y times y times y, which is y cubed, and that tells me that I have two matching expressions, so the least common multiple, if these guys match, the least common multiple is going to be 120x squared y cubed, okay? So this has been... Um, algebraic expressions, finding the least common multiple. Um, if you'd like to see more uh, examples, feel free to comment uh, down below. And uh, thank you for watching.